we are currently at so go yeah Market now. Agbe Kalanko. I kind of like this. No, no, no. What's it made from? What's it made from? Do you like it? I think I have now figured out the reason between the endless battle or banter or quarrel between Nigerians and Ghanaians. Hey guys and welcome to my channel you guys welcome to the vlogmas series you guys have seen our i have been having so much fun like i have been having so much fun if you guys are not caught up on all the previous moving around the world west africa as well you guys should go and get caught up i'll link all the playlist of the vlogmas series up above but yeah guys we are currently at togo i just am um, doing all finishing touches of packing up my luggage i've packed up the other ones as well this is my sister's we are almost done and we are about to leave. Just take, we have breakfast and then we head out. So yeah, guys, let me not ramble too much. You guys know the drill now. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and turn on your post notification because the next video, you guys already know the drill now. And finally, please follow me on my socials. There, I've been dropping all the hot, 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 hot pictures, okay? So yeah, guys, um, let's finish for the pack up. Like I said, we are going to Ghana, okay? And we're going to have so much fun in Ghana. I'm so excited because Ghana is one of the places that are on my bucket list. So, yeah, guys, come along with us and let us just have fun. So, guys, we began our journey to Ghana. Hmm, this was a long journey. We started off um, by exchanging some of our Sephas and Nairas to Ghanaian cities. We got to the Ghanaian border and that's when our drama started, which I'll get into later. But we got to Ghana pretty late, like late into the night. At this point, see, my blood had stopped flowing on my knee because the boss was really, really dealing with me. This was the Airbnb we were supposed to stay in. It's called Club Court. It's at Accra and it's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, um, it's just like an Airbnb with so many rooms inside a flat. And we rented, I think, two because we're about 11. And yeah guys we just offloaded the boss everybody was tired because we had seen hell already but let me just give you guys a quick tour of the space so the living room looks absolutely beautiful it is like well decorated i be well organized basically um yeah the, the living room was was giving what it should give i don't know it's <laughs> one of my travel but they said this reminded her of an Igbo man's house i don't know why <laughs> but yeah this was the dining table and this was the kitchen the kitchen was very very minimalistic but real really cute it had all the basic essentials like fridge microwave you know it now all the basic things needed in a kitchen and yeah this was um will i say the store i believe it should be the store but it was empty because of course nobody lives here but this was where the washing machine was located there were a lot of beautiful art pieces on the wall i was in love with this one and this was my sister's room again we dolled ourselves so we came in last and we took the smallest room so this was our room a basic um comfy room it was it was okay actually it was decent um the decent room with a decent bathroom i don't think there's anything much to say 
at this point me i was very tired like i just wanted to retire for the night basically but we were hungry so we just settled into the room and immediately we settled, in, settled into the room the beautiful part of um where we stayed is that there was like a an eatery sort of set up very close to where we stayed so we went to this place called nakobi we asked them where can we get banging Ghanaian dishes and they said go to nakobi it's more like a nightlife area you would see all kinds of vendors selling different kinds of Ghanaian dishes and um, even shawarma and all of that this was um the menu for nakobi it was a vibe you know how they say ghana is the king of nightlife of course it is like they are the king of night nightlife basically yeah so we placed our orders and sat down to wait for them to make our orders and even with all our tiredness one of my travel body was just giving us the moves you guys should check her out now <laughs> Guys, I think I have now figured out the reason between the endless battle or banter or quarrel between Nigerians and Ghanaians. It's so crazy, like, we saw hell, just like, we went through Togo border effortlessly, went through Benin Republic border effortlessly, it got to Ghana and it became a problem. They were forcing us or they were asking us to pay 200 CD per person for them to stamp our passports. Like, how crazy is that? Really? It became they said telling us there is a new rule that came up that we need to pay if not we won't be our passports won't be stamped. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine? We tried to negotiate, talk to them for where it became a problem. All of a sudden, like at the at the end, we ended up paying hundred Ghanaian CDs per person. You can imagine. So that's how crazy it was. Like at every um, stop, they will stop our vehicle and extort us like apparently you think corruption is only in nigeria but honestly now it, like it's an african thing it's everywhere like i've seen it through the republic togo but it seems like ghana's own is at the height of it it's so crazy the extortion that happened like today like we're so mad pissed everybody in the bus we're so exhausted like literally we traveled we left togo maybe say by nine or ten this morning and we got to ghana by seven 30 to 8 p.m. because of everything that was just happening they were just delaying us frustrating our efforts like it was just so crazy honestly but yeah eventually we are here like you guys have seen um we're settled into the airbnb it's a very beautiful place and then we also went out to get food that's what we're about to eat but i just had to do this rant please like i don't know what's going on and honestly i need a confirmation with regards to that money because they said it's a new constitution in the law that people now pay to get stamped like and we're asking them do you pay to get stamped at the airport and they were just saying like see guys i don't even want to get into it but let me know is it really true or they just try to extort us let me know whether nigerians are playing when it comes to this whole corruption of a thing because this is just the height of it i mean like lying with a constitution law just to extort money from people if that's not madness then i don't know what that is but anyways guys let me just get out of this and get eating because it's almost 10 30 p.m okay let's just eat it's delicious. Mm, it's yummy. So guys, it's time. This is the moment of truth. Let's try it out. And guys, I absolutely love this. Like it tasted like something like it tasted very Nigerian. I loved, loved, loved it. Anyways, after eating, I decided to do a bit of skincare because see, my skin has been through it all throughout this journey. So I just wanted to do something nice for my skin. Just uh, wash my face basically and apply a mask and just call it a night. We had some tours planned the previous day but due to the way our trip went it did not go as planned so we moved everything to today so today was fully jam-packed first up aburi botanical gardens it is a century-old garden 
for a home of a lot of plants and when you go there they educate you and tell you the history and a lot of things regarding some plants that you see on a daily basis it was really enlightening i mean it was a very beautiful place if you're one who loves gardens this is a place for you one feather is called azalea africana tree they planted the tree in the year 1906 so it took the triangular phyco tree 30 good years to take over the old tree so the old tree is normal so when they enter into this tree that is hollow from the ground up to the top of the tree <laughs> As usual, we're all ready to take pictures with these historical plants. Today we should take tours and look into the tree. The views in Apuri are magical. They just look like something from a movie. You said how many years? 180? 128 years. Wow, 128. Wow. Aside the plants, there were also a lot of historical pieces like this abandoned airplane or helicopter now and people were taking pictures there was also a place to get Ghanaian fabrics african prints see ghana kinti now and yeah guys it was so much fun i enjoyed myself next stop was asenema waterfalls we went to asenema waterfalls and guys i was looking forward to this because this was my first water activity since I came to Ghana and I was absolutely here for it. Trust we ladies now, we'll start snapping picture even before we get to our destination. So funny. Guys, my voice is lost, but we are currently at a waterfall. I don't know, I can't remember what the name is, but I'll put it on the screen. It's just giving nature, nature, nature. We've been having so much fun. We had so much fun at Aburi Gardens, but now we're heading to the waterfall. Like, it reminds me of my village, you know, like, the village that year when we travel for Christmas and all and guys like can you guys hear the sound I'm looking forward to it like it's quite a distance though but let's just walk down guys this is my village like a few years back this has to be how my village looks like everybody has gone faster so let me just rush because this place, this place looks really really weird So we saw people who set up by the water for cooking like indians i mean i don't know whether they are campers but we just saw people that were really really here to settle in and just have fun for the whole day but guys this waterfall was immaculate <laughs> It's time to jump in, guys. I was excited, like I said, my first water activity. Guys, this feeling is mixed. It was fun, but the weight of this water almost broke my neck. Like, it was intense. But I enjoyed it. My sister had the time of her life. All of us, we had so much fun. Like, so much fun. We met these Indian guys that were just here for it. Like, their energy was unmatched. Back on our boat and heading to the third location of the day, Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Center slash Museum. Kwame Nkrumah is the first Prime Minister of Ghana and through his leadership led Ghanaians to independence. Like it's such a big deal. They love him so much. There was a lot to say. Of all the places I visited in Ghana, this was the place that the history was just a lot basically um he this place was founded in honor of him and as usual it was christmas eve so the whole of ghana came out to play i mean everywhere was choked up it's more like a park we went there just to see and experience ghana and everything there is to experience there was a lot of history like a whole whole lot of history and the place was beautiful as well so we got in and started just touring around the space very beautiful 
amazing sculptures there was water like a water fountain absolutely loved it and then we started um, a lecture when i say a lecture from one of the ladies there she was giving us all the information we needed this is a statue of kwame nkrumah by the way basically yeah and i don't know i i, I just loved the presentation of everything the history behind it i was enjoying everything that they had to say but they said they are back meaning they are now seeing the death of the Kuma. The water, we know what water is like. We have the Kuma. The Kuma never dies. The Kuma is alive. Ghana is a Kuma and the Kuma is Ghana. So we therefore live to Ghana and Ghana. She took us to where he and his wife was buried. There was a lot to tell story wise there was a lot to see i mean but we were in a hurry so we we're just breezing through most of the activities so that we can head to the next location because if you guys remember or remembered i told you guys that we had a lot to do on this particular day so we scanned through went inside saw some historical events of kwame nkrumah and supporting pictures it was a whole lot of fun i mean i enjoyed the experience after that, we started taking pictures before we called it a day. Sisters, sisters, hello, sisters. <laughs> Next up, we went to the Independence Square, which is like a place where if you have gone to Ghana and you have not been here, then where really have you been? But what I didn't understand was the fact that a lot of Ghanaians were also there. It's not something that is always available to them. Why is it that it's now that we want to tour that they came to tour? Anyways, we got our pictures and videos. And next up was the art and craft, um, will I say, market. We got a ton of gifts, um, clothing. Basically, anything you want to buy, you'll find it here. Anything Ghanaian related, Ghana Kinti fabrics, shoes, anything you will find here. I got um, some clothes and some gift items for people and then of course what is a shopping if i don't get my wall of fame fridge magnet i got my wall of fame fridge mag magnet here next up we went for a drumming lesson at the art center which i absolutely enjoyed <laughs> We danced and danced and had so much fun and then they decided to give us a drumming lesson. But before for you to hear good sounds, you have to make your, your hands very flexible. So in the middle, in the middle of the drum, that is the bass. That is the bass. So we go. Let's go. the phone they told us that they had art and craft for us to check out so basically it was a marketing strategy to get our attention after which they now sell their products to us so we went to their store or their shops and we checked out stuff so people bought items but i was already done buying at this point so i did not buy anything we rounded up at the art market and we went to look for proper Ghanaian food. We wanted to try wache, so we went to this place at Osu. Yeah, Osu is one place that is like very active in Accra. And then I got Ghanaian jollof. <laughs> Uh, 
I bought the Ghanaian Jollof and I also wanted to try Wachi because I've heard a lot about it. And I was like, see, I want to try it too. So you push put everything. They put spaghetti, gari, egg, stew, and other sauce. Like it was a whole lot. I told them, put it because me, I'm about to test everything. I'm about to taste the whole package all at once. And they did that. And I was so, so excited and looking forward to try it out, which I will shortly. I present to you all my wache and my Ghana Jollof. See guys, let's dig in because I don't want to start rambling. Let's just dig into this yumminess. Hi guys, so we got um, the wache and a lot of things. The Ghana Jollof and I want to try it out but I also wanted to try it out with my sister. So it's not like a see if maybe me I'm being evil or something. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll just try it out, take our first, show you like our first yeah, impression, cool. what we think about it and let you guys know. So let's get it. I think the, the jollof has to be easier because this watch is like conscious. So we can just take those, test this one, taste this one. Oh, Jesus. May God bless this food price, I love you. Oh, yes. I hope you still have a more than just a piece. What do you think? This is good, right? Well, I can't, I can't be better than Nigerian Jollof. Um, yeah, so it's good, but I've tasted better Jollof in Nigeria. And yeah. this was a local, mm -hmm. like, street area. So it's not Osu. like a, mm -hmm. Osuba. That's what they call it, Osu. Mm -hmm. Like downtown Osu when we bought this food. So, unfortunately, this is a verdict. Um, I'm not being biased by now. It's not that enough. Well, but it's okay. Definitely. So let's try yeah. this one. This one I don't even understand. There's spaghetti. There's tea, what? There's couscous. There's I think it's what? I think it's couscous or gari. I don't know. Gari. It's like it's a lot. So let's see. There's beans. 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 No beans. Okay. It's the wache that it's. I think this is the new wache. The beans itself. Mix and taste. Let's see with the sauce. Where is the sauce? I'm not seeing it. Maybe that's how they serve this to us. It's like a handful of different things. Careful. I think I'll have to eat this one separately because I don't understand. You just try and pack all what you can pack. What do you think? To me, there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. So, but it's still nice. I mean, yeah, you can test my but I can't really place okay, what am I testing? Is it the green? Is it spaghetti? Well, overall, it's good. Yeah, it's good, but there's a lot going on. Okay. Maybe if it was presented in a better way, I would enjoy it better. And I think I'm still curious to know what this is. Those little things that look like Gary. Do you ask? I think it's Gary. Fried gari. Why is it gari inside food? Yeah, I don't know. But well, yeah, it's decent. They are both decent, but... Mm -hmm. And that's why I think the jollof are tasted better. They are both decent. So yeah, guys, we'll just get into it and we'll see you guys later. I have so much fun today, obvious, as you guys have already seen. So yeah, let's see what tomorrow holds. Good night, Bye. guys. Merry Christmas, guys. It's not that bad. Sir. It's not that bad. Sir. Hey, hey. hey.